Hey, how's it going out there today, everybody? Hope everybody's having a great day. It is Friday. I'm in Minnesota currently. Want to talk to you today about uh, kind of what's been going on since the last video I made. Kind of give a little weekly update, wrap up type thing. Um, still waiting on a load out of Minnesota right now. Uh, hoping to get some good miles for the weekend. Looking for uh, either a couple trips or a good long trip. Um, not sure what's what's going to come of that yet but just waiting to see so last video i made i was grabbing a load from chicago over to grand rapids um i grabbed that i got in and out of chicago at a pretty good time i got in at about three got you know got dropped and hooked and got out and um you know really didn't have to deal with much chicago traffic pretty efficient on the hours on getting in and out got over to grand rapids and um was not a pleasant experience over there had a load pre-booked out of Detroit down to uh, the South Georgia area, almost Florida, and um, yeah, it, uh, it it didn't work out on that one. It took so long to get me unloaded over in Grand Rapids that uh, I couldn't make the pickup for um, the time they wanted in Detroit. So. I got in and out, got to Grand Rapids at about 9, 9.30, something like that. Um, maybe it was a little later now, but that was, that was ballpark the time. Um, I had to be in Detroit by 4 o'clock because they close at 5. They don't take anyone after 4 o'clock. So uh, I had about a two and a half hour ride to Detroit from where I was at in Grand Rapids. And um, yeah, it. Uh, I got over there. They took about... I don't know, 30 minutes to get me in a door and then proceeded to unload everyone else that came in after me, before me. I guess they needed that product more than they needed what I had at the time. And uh, they did not put any kind of priority on it. Um, so I was figuring as long as they could get me unloaded in like, you know, two, maybe three hours, I would be okay to get to the Detroit load. So the way it worked out is uh, it took them about six, I was there for about six hours, about 30 minutes before they got me unloaded, they, uh, people I was working with on getting the load from Detroit called and said, um, you know, it's like three o'clock at this point and they're like, you know, you're two and a half hours or you're, excuse me, you're, yeah, about two and a half hours away. It was about 150, 160 miles. Um, you know, you can figure with some traffic, you know, two and a half to three hours. And they were like, you know, you're just not going to make that today. And they said, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to put the load on somebody else. Um, so they had had uh, somebody else in closer that could do it. So they got it. And it stinks because it was good paying load. Uh, wasn't like a great paying load, but it was paying uh, above average and it was, you know, 970 miles, 960 miles, something like that. Uh, it was paying like almost 240 a mile for that, uh, you know, on a, on a length of haul like that with a dry van. Um, you know, that, that's a pretty good rate if you can get it. And so uh, that fell through. And I was stuck at the end of the day with nothing to do. And, uh, you know, I'd used up maybe like six hours of drive time so i was pretty bummed about that uh so i stopped got to looking for something called in see if the company had anything in the area closest thing they had was in gary indiana and uh i took it you know that was about sorry i gotta look here that was about 150 mile deadhead and it was only a load that was going uh 370 yeah 380 miles so you know wasn't uh wasn't the great greatest day uh money wise but you know it kept me moving and uh you know they gave they gave me a little extra to help cover that uh that deadhead that 147 miles so all in all wasn't the worst load um i say it probably averaged in like the dollar 90 range with all miles you know with that deadhead included and it I picked it up uh, I took about three hours to load that out of Gary 
uh, that went over to Missouri where it was a drop and hook over there and then um, left that left that uh, place drop hooked got out of there went back towards st. Louis uh, grabbed a load out of st. Louis the same night uh, it was dropping hook as well and it was coming back here to Minnesota so uh, I really didn't miss out on uh, you know going to Georgia with the heavy load because that load was like 42,000 pounds it was going to Georgia so um, I mean it was paying good but it was also heavy and you know uh, that that area sometimes isn't the greatest you know that uh, Florida Georgia area so um, I think it all worked out okay um, the load I picked up in Gary going over to Missouri was that was about a 30,000 pound load and then the load I grabbed out of st. Louis back to Minnesota uh, that had about a 65 mile deadhead and it was a 530 mile load and um, you know it, it made up for not going to Georgia really it ended up about the same amount of miles and I ended up in Minnesota which uh, you know I always like getting toward the house when I can um, so yeah that's that's what's been going on um, tried to recover the week a little bit it, it pretty much was the same amount of miles it paid a little less uh, but it was lighter loads and uh, it didn't really help my fuel economy any though because yesterday coming back to Minnesota I was driving into a 17 mile an hour wind which um, you know over over a long term the wind you know shouldn't affect you much because you're gonna have tailwind headwinds but the last three or four days that I've been driving into the wind every direction I turn is the way the winds blowing uh in you know into the wind so uh fuel economy has been pretty low this week um especially for the lighter loads and the flat ground i've been covering um you know going into missouri a little bit i had some hills and whatnot but you know nothing major um so you know fuel economy's been off this week the load i pulled back last night was uh twenty thousand pounds uh from st louis to minneapolis 20,000 actually wasn't even 20 that was like 16,000 into a 17 mile an hour wind pretty much uh, it varied from like 14 to 20 mile an hour and I mean it was straight headwind and I averaged about 6.3 uh, I think when I got here I was at 6.4 for the trip on fuel so uh, that wind really uh, you know the wind really uh, hurt me on that but Overall, not a bad uh, recovery for the middle part of the week there. Uh, still got the weekend to add to it. Um, so we will see how the weekend shapes out. I appreciate everybody watching, liking, subscribing, commenting, all that good stuff. I appreciate everybody. And uh, take care of each other out there.